Hi there, it's Brandon, you're watching Josie to Germany again. So, I realized that part of my channel description and part of what I advertise I would do on this channel is talk about not only the au pairing and traveling side of being in Germany, but also the languages. Die Dole, die Sprachen, la lingua. So today I wanted to make a quick little video. I'm kidding, it took me ages to edit this. Explaining some of the similarities and differences between English old chap, der deutsche Sprache, and also the Afrikaans at all. Now, for those of you who don't know, I am a native English speaker from South Africa, but I think I am qualified more than a lot of people outside of South Africa to talk about Afrikaans, considering that I spent 12 years learning it in school and I know many Afrikaans people. I may or may not also have some Afrikaans friends and family. So without further ado, this video will be five similarities that you need to know of between German and English or Afrikaans as languages. Number one, first thing you need to know is that German alongside English and Afrikaans forms part of a language group known as the Germanic languages, specifically the West Germanic languages. So now you see the Germanic languages as part of the broader Indo-European language family, which often includes other languages such as those spoken in India. You can see over here that these languages are related to the languages used formerly by the Vikings, such as Norwegian and Swedish and Icelandic. Now over here, you can see how the West Germanic languages, in other words, the ones I mentioned previously, have evolved into modern languages which we use today. So from that diagram, it's pretty easy to see that even though English, German and Afrikaans form different languages altogether, they are in the same language family and as such, they are actually very closely related. This leads me on to point number two. The fact that the West Germanic languages are very closely related to each other. So here we can see the similarities in all of these West Germanic languages. In English, a guitar is a musical instrument, but in Afrikaans, a guitar is a music instrument. In Dutch, a guitar is a music instrument, and in German, eine Gitarre ist ein music instrument. So that brings me on to point number three. What does this all mean? What does it mean to me? Well, firstly, the fact that English and Afrikaans are so similar makes it pretty easy for us to learn in school. Although I won't lie, some people still have trouble with that. Building on that, the fact that German, Dutch and Afrikaans are so similar made German almost, almost a breeze for me to learn. The same kind of vocab, same kind of sentence structure, not really the same kind of pronunciation, but I found it a lot easier. So because of this, it's really worth noting that someone who speaks Dutch or Afrikaans, or English I guess, would be at a more distinct advantage at learning German than other people in the world, such as people who speak Spanish for example. You can see this through the use of common nouns such as Buch in Afrikaans or Buch in German, Hund in Afrikaans, Hund in German. Also, even though some words in Afrikaans are not similar to standard German, such as Kumbais in Afrikaans, which means kitchen, and Küche in German, you would be able to translate this over into some German dialects, such as the dialect of my host family, where a Kumbais or a kitchen is Kombuza. That's weird, right? I found that out the other day. Point number four. Not many people know this, but there is actually an African dialect of German used particularly in Namibia known as Sudwesterdeutsch, although most of the younger people apparently refer to it as Namslang or Namibian slang. Most of the vocabulary in this language is German, but also consists of vocabulary which has been simplified and borrowed from English, Afrikaans, Sotho, Kosa, Zulu, and other Bantu languages. Some examples of words used inside Namslang include Bucky, the Afrikaans word for a pickup truck, or eine Klippe, which comes from the Afrikaans word clip or stone. Last example, in Namslang, one would say zumorschen, which comes from the Afrikaans word mors, which is to waste, for schwinden. And finally, number five. So, okay, so for this one, it's not another fact that you would need to know about German, English, or Afrikaans, but rather, I will just show you an image that has a few example sentences and you can see for yourself exactly how similar these languages are. P.S. I lied about the image too. Dramatic reenactment time! The English sentence. Did you know I saw a dog today? Afrikaans. 
Weet jij geweerd dat ik het vandaag een hond gezien? German. Weet je dat heute heb ik een hond gezien? Anywho, don't forget to like, comment, and if you're feeling generous, you could always subscribe. Thanks for watching guys, and auf Wiedersehen.